Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to look at the different ways to create shades. So the first one that we did was the simple extrusion. Um, and let's just recap that now. So in order for me to do that, I chose the top plane. I looked directly at it. I drew a circle. And that circle was the same, was the same size as the hole for the tube so just click there anywhere go to dimensions click that press 10 and enter that one okay so that's the the most important part is that hole there and then I did a circle and that circle doesn't really matter about the size because I'm just showing you how to do it and then I did another circle where I offset that circle okay when you're happy with the sketch you're done so we just move and then this part was uh, that one and that one and we're just going to swap that down and do 2 mil. And then we turn our sketch back on and then here we just come do this part and we go up and we make sure that it says add. If it's new that will be separate from that and we don't want that. Okay. So press escape, then I can show you. So that was the that was the basic one. Okay. A different type would be the revolve. To do that, we're going to draw on the uh, the side one of the sides or the front. So if I just go to the front, let's go sketch, select. Okay. Look directly at it. And for this one, I'm going to draw an axis. So there's my axis there. And so we don't have any confusion, I'm going to turn that into a construction line. Okay, the next part is I'm going to draw the profile of the lampshade. Keeping in construction, I want to draw a 5mm hole. So a 5mm line, sorry. So we'll go here, go there. And because we're revolving, okay, done. Right, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to, I'm going to draw a profile and revolve it around this axis and I'm going to start the profile 5mm away. So of course it's going to create a 10mm hole. So to do that, try and do a spline. So we go here, there, I'm just drawing a shape. When you're happy, double click, finish it. Now that doesn't have any mass, okay, so that will just be skin. We want it to be solid, so I'm going to have to offset it. So we're going to click the offset button, going to select this, and we're just going to give it one mil. So let's bring that down, bring that down, bring that down. One mil, and press enter. So now we have two lines, and we're just going to close those. So press the line tool. Let's just zoom in and join that one to that one. Go down to the bottom. Line tool selected and join that one to that one. Okay, so now that's shaded in, now we know it's solid. So we're gonna now spin that around that and you'll see that that gave me a line. I'm gonna be a bit clever here. I'm also gonna draw that there, there, and there, and I'm going to trim that line out. And the reason is, when that spins around, I want this flat side to join uh, to the pole. So you would do this if you wanted to maybe 3D print something. Okay, so uh, we're happy with that sketch. That's going to bring up the new menu. And we are going to look at that one. And that is Revolve. Okay, so it's going to say, what is the face? That is the face. And the axis is... Uh, select that select that okay and there have a beautiful tulip glass okay and when you're happy with that press go and we should be able to come on there so there's our other way of doing um, a, uh, a revolve now we can actually get really really clever with this one if we edit sketch 7 look at it zoom in we can do crazy stuff.
Okay, if I go done. We're going to edit that one. The face of the sketch. Okay, and if we go there, now we've got some. Uh, so we've got rings as well. So that'd be lovely if you could do that. I think it's pretty much impossible. Okay, so now we've got that shade and that shade. Now the next shade um, we're going to do is the same as this, but it's in a different way. And then we're going to do a really complicated one. So uh, sketch. This time I'm going to go to the top plane. I'm going to have a look at the top plane. And this time I'm just going to draw a cylinder. Okay. We're going to say that's done. I'm going to extrude it. So let's have a look. And we're just going to do that. Press enter. Now with this one, what we've done is we created a solid. Um, and now I'm going to hollow it out. So sketch. And I'm going to draw onto that plane. Draw a... Let's just be crazy. And draw hexagon. Okay, and we're happy with that. And we're just going to click this, drag it down. We can see the line from there, or we could be clever and measure it. And we're going to do that. I'll close that sketch. If I go to sketch and select that one, circle, there's the center. And let's say we did our 10 mil, then I could go here select that and then we're going to remove the face I want to do is that one there and we're going to go all the way up and just remove whatever's in the middle and that way we have now got exactly the same as that it's not as nice but it's just a different way of doing things okay all right now the hard one so in what we're going to do for this one is do a not a sweep a loft first one we're going to do we're going to start a sketch on the top plane and for this I'm going to draw that circle so circle is there and we'll just offset that and make it thin okay and that is done the next one uh, we need to create a work plane on top of that so we're going to click the plane the, the plane is uh, the top plane, and we're going to offset that distance by 25. I think 25 is all right. So 25 just means that it's higher. So we're drawing on, we've drawn on a piece of paper on the desk, and now we're drawing on a piece of paper on a desk above the desk. Is a way of thinking about it. So if we just go 25, and we go sketch, and we're going to now draw on plane one, which we've just created there, and here we're going to draw an ellipse so we just select now you can actually project this to make it more accurate um, but I know what most people are like at this stage and they're probably not bothering about being too accurate considering we're upcycling this shade anyway so let's go here uh, so we're going to go to the plane button again we're going to select the last plane that we just drew and we're going to do, leave it as 25. We're going to go sketch. We're going to now select plane 2. Look directly at it. And then why don't we do a circle that is in the middle but smaller. Now it doesn't have to be in the middle. It could be off somewhere else. Uh, which will be just as interesting. Sometimes this sort of thing does not work though because... The profiles are too crazy. All right, so now I've got a circle going to a ellipse going to a circle. Simple one, this one. We're going to go loft. So we go to the loft. One, two, three. Okay, so this worked. The only trouble is it did not like doing the outside. So we have to do it this way. Um, so how do we... 
how do we get around that so sometimes there's a thing called shell let's have a look at the shell the faces we're going to remove are underneath uh, thickening let's do thickening as we're here might as well so uh, let's do a sketch in the front view and look at it we'll move around away from somewhere else we will make a surface with this one so we'll do a spline first here and then we are going to extrude that surface not solid there's the line this has no mass okay because it, it has no thickness but it does have a shape crazy uh, and if we just go okay so what we've got now oh, I don't know why I keep doing that well I actually know fusion so there's our profile need to now thicken it so we're going to select the surface and we will go 2 mil on the top and press go and now it does have it does have uh, mass which means now we can use it so it's another way of doing things you can surface model as opposed to as opposed to solid model okay um, but we're not going to get into surface modeling ever with this program all right so i hope that has helped with a few different um few different ways of creating solids